Normally you cut up the sweet pepper any kind of way you want it. Put it in the blender high, the quarry. Or the onion. Yeah, yeah, blend this. Normally. The sano. What spoon I come to me? Hey, do you go stay in? Pepper. The whole black pepper? No. You say maybe like a spoon. Throw up in here again. Drop a little bit of mustard. So normally I strain it for the seed. And the um, goat pepper. I don't eat pepper, but I'm eating <laughs> So we have put sugar have brown the, the grimy. I'm gonna keep it a sugar, not too much. Because after all the grimy, when it bake, the same thing. Drop the ketchup if you want, it's optional, you don't have to. I drop it because I like it, you know. For me, it tastes good. Flour, prepare the dough. You can use like one pound and a half. The next half is like the mushroom case if you come up to serve. The first thing you have to do is fry the nata seed. Some people use the um, nata while they don't um, grind up. But I like to use the seed, I fry it in the aisle. So the reason why I would do this first is because the aisle has to cool because the aisle will throw it in the flour. So that time fry and that time get the flour the aisle. Normally, people use the um, the grinder, then put it in a glass, then mix it with water, and then, then strain it out, and then, then throw it in the flour. Right. But then um, I learned this from my papa. You know, we use the ice, we use the seed, we fry the seed, and then we strain it. But after all, the ice. Normally, you could say, well, this look more or less. Um, we could say. Easier then. For me, I would say easier. And well, should in case if the, the flour don't come out to your gusto or the color where you want, you still have that, you throw a little more oil and you fry it again and you're gone. So if you want, you could put salt or whatever you want here, like salt and consomme. That's optional. Uh, right now, I know I drop salt because it might sound like lie, but not that, not that salt. Yes? So this is practically the dough. You can cut it up how you want. Right now I just want to cut it up in three pieces. Cooking with chapo. You know the size that you want, you can cut it any kind of way. No matter I cut it this size. Try it out in one pan. Now we end the what? We have put iron. What is iron for? A greasy pan. Well, normally you use a board roller, but we don't have none right now, so we're gonna use this buckle. Yes? For rolling. Roll out the door. Make sure your buckle clean, eh? Yeah, your buckle clean, man. I don't know why this up. So you roll it as 
big as you want, depending on the size where you want. Get it. Normally, we don't rub in the bottom here because you want to put the meat there. So we stretch it on the side. This have to be thick, fine, you know, I am tear. I put it in the pan. Well, normally you use a long pan, but we well, don't got a long pan right now, so we're using this round one. We have the stove, we have it up. Now we have put it like probably at 10 or 15 minutes to put it for hot up. Now we have put it in the first pan. You know? Okay, so you preheat it for 15 minutes and now we set that for beer. How long does that for beer? Normally it's like uh, 15, 20 minutes. 15, 20 minutes. How oh, oh, we open it at, at 20 minutes? If you put it too much in the bottom, the bottom and bun for sir, cook for sir. So you just leave it in the middle like it, cook both sides, up and down. And now I'm done. With seaweed pap. Delicious, bossy, 14 for life, you don't know.